Hey folks, welcome to Herbie's Laboratory and my review of the Durkroon Mechanics Flow Wolf version 2.0. Uh, bienvenidos to my friends in Spain who've designed and sent this product. Uh, this is an interesting piece of technology that I think is really going to make a change in the way that we do flow. Some of you have seen the sea swirls and squids that are available in the market. But this brings the idea of a changing flow pattern to a whole new level with, obviously, a digital controller. 100% digital. There are eight modes. Currently, it's off. And as you can see, I'm testing this with just an MJ1200. Certainly not the capability level that this pump this uh, can handle. But you'll see that there are eight modes, continuous back and forth for a left-right type of a surge action. A true random, which I think is really going to be very interesting. Uh, you've got the ability to control each of the four positions and the amount of time before it changes to the next and the direction that it rotates. You've got the opposites, so you can essentially do the same thing in a surge controlling which side of the tank, either left, right, right, left, or on opposite corners. And then you can use this as sort of a cycle mode to test all of the different cycles. Uh, I think really what's going to be, for me, the most impressive is this true random. You have control over a pause at each position and then how long that pause would be. The uh, LED indicator is telling us when the motor is turning the flow. You have control over the aperture, they call it, which is essentially how much flow is making it through each of the ports. And you can see from these inputs, now again, being a 1200, it certainly could use a little more power to show this off, but this is a true random distribution of flow across these four outlets. This diverter is going to be used on my next build, which should be around 80 gallons, a low wide cube reef tank. And my goal is to have absolutely no inorganic lines available or visible when looking at the tank. So even uh, the Vortex series of pumps requires those power heads attached as cool as they are to the outside of the glass. In this case, I should be able to hide these ports in their uh, various positions in the tank in a way that they won't be visible. And then I'll be able to take advantage of this true random flow as either a closed loop or the return. It can be either one. And I think in my case I might actually use it for the return because I usually use a split fuge with a slower flow through it. So uh, more to come, but I think this is definitely going to be a changer for me. And I'll tell you right now, working with your croon is nothing short of pleasurable. These guys really know what they're doing. They'll work with you. They will customize the ports if you want the uh, three-quarter attached or unattached if you've already got your plumbing set up. I added the unions, of course, but uh, you could do various different attachments. Um, the unit itself is not waterproof. You do need to make sure that that does not get in the water, as well, of course, as the uh, control. Um, the control is pretty interesting. They've got a, a way of mounting it. It comes with a, a red plug that will mount it anywhere that I decide to put it. And uh, I think it's a really interesting device. So I'm going to run it like this for the next 24 or 48 hours just to make sure that it continues to perform at the rate that it is. But I really look forward to uh, getting this bad boy up and moving all of Herbie's laboratory here into a, a better area once the rest of this room gets done. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. And I look forward to telling you guys more about this as I have more experience with it.